It's time for another adventure. Are you ready? I don't know why I thought this using this as a whip was a good idea. I'm gonna break stuff. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today, we're diving into another Indiana Jones movie. And I think I remember this one a bit more than Raiders of the Lost Ark. A lot of folks on Patreon and YouTube, you guys, uh, this one seems to have a more general consensus of maybe more folks not enjoying this movie. But for some reason, this one stands out the most to me amongst the trilogy. Not really in terms of just enjoying it more than the others, but I think there were just so many gross moments in this movie that it really stuck with me a lot more. Like I remember the supporting characters. I remember things they ate. I remember things they crawled through. I remember things that happened to Indiana later in the movie. I feel like I remember a lot from this movie particularly. So I don't know if it's one that I watched more or if it was just so gross that it wouldn't leave my brain. <laughs> Either way, I'm excited to watch it. I had so much fun watching the last Indiana Jones movie with you guys. It just made me so happy to revisit that movie, especially because I didn't remember so much of it. And so I'm really excited for this one today because I think I remember more of it, but there's definitely some elements that I have forgotten, I'm sure. So I'm just really excited. I really got hit in the nostalgic feels last time with a lot of serotonin and I'm just pumped to watch another Indiana Jones film with you guys. He's definitely one of my favorite protagonists ever. So I just like watching these movies and I like revisiting this character a lot. So because of that, I do want to keep this intro really short and sweet, but real quickly, I will say that I do have a Patreon page. I always link that in the description bar down below. For those of you that love my full length reactions and maybe really love Indiana Jones, you might want to check out my Patreon. Also make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram where I update you guys and do exclusive posts that I don't do anywhere else. But with all that being said, guys, I think we should just hop on into this movie. So if you're ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. The music is already so intense. And we just jump right into it. We really waste no time here. I love it. She's singing Anything Goes in Chinese. I got that from the melody. I didn't even need the chorus. I don't remember this at all, actually. <laughs> oh, a tap number? I don't remember this at all. I love this. Oh, <laughs> this is giving me so much joy. I love it. They did. They just rewind. They just rewound them. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> oh, here he is, right? Because we're starting off not showing his head. So it's got to be him. This man's not happy to see you. Yep, there he is. Ah, nice reveal. I love it. A slow sit into the frame. You found much. You know I did. Oh. Say, who is this? Ner Hachi. Oh, geez. I suggest you give me what you owe me or anything goes. Oh geez, he's starting off threatening a woman. I mean, I don't think he could actually do it, but they're just not calling his bluff. Oh, there just happens to be a little spinny table in the center, that's good. The deal was for the diamond. This guy a cheapskate? He doesn't want to pay for the, for the work? <gasps> that is a huge diamond, oh my God. He put two holes in my dress from Paris. I don't think anybody cares about that. There's higher stakes going on right now than your dress. I'd be worried that they were gonna kill him after that to get the diamond back. Oh no, what are they gonna do with his remit? Did they poison the drink? Did they poison the drink that he just chugged? Yeah, they totally did, didn't they? And that's for the antidote. Oh, I knew it. He trusted them so much, even though they had a gun on him. Dang it. This isn't gonna go end well for you guys. You know that, right? Ooh, he's got the waiter on his side. It's not a waiter. <laughs> Oh no, he got shot. Dude, shoot, shoot back, shoot back. What, they're not gonna give him the antidote now? These guys are horrible. Whoa, I don't remember this at all. D dang, I don't remember this guy dying. What the hell is going on? How is he gonna get out of this mess? <laughs> Holy <laughs> he's got great aim. Did he just shoot her? Oh, she got the diamond. Oh no, she didn't. Just kidding. Get oh God, all he needs is that blue vial. No, all he needs is the antidote. No. 
Why are they playing? Guys, is this really what you think is the best course of action is to continue playing the song again? Where's the diamond? <laughs> Oh my god, you can't help him. He's about to die. Well, actually, she, why would, there's no reason she should care about him. He threatened her life twice. Stay there! No, is she hiding it from him? I just feel like this is so unfair. Like, this poor man, he just wanted to get paid for the job. It's really a miracle that he didn't get shot once. I mean, he's so maniacal about it. Holy moly, man. Oh, is that car planned? Oh, <gasps> the little kid! I remember this kid! Step on it. He's driving! He drives! Oh my god. What a cutie! Just drink it, just drink it, please. Oh my god. Oh god, finally, thank god. Jeez. No shooting! Of course he's gonna shoot. She's so annoying. Wow, I don't remember how annoying this woman was. I mean, she got thrown into this mess, but she didn't have to go sit down at the table and insist on being introduced to this man. Hold it. Yeah, I don't know why you gave it to her. You haven't gathered from this whole interaction that she's completely helpless? As you will be riding on a cargo full of live poultry. Live poultry? Why are we bringing her? We don't need her. Nice try, Lao Shea. Indy really be do getting screwed over all the time. Just all the time, he's getting screwed over. Where are they gonna fly him to? Wow, I don't remember the beginning of this movie at all. I really don't know why he brought her either. I would have been like, I'm leaving you. Peace. Ever since you got into my club, you haven't been able to take your eyes off me. Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I do love how sassy Harrison Ford is. He's really good at being like the scoundrel. But like, I don't know, this girl's just so annoying. <laughs> oh, they're gonna, they're gonna parachute. <laughs> Jump out. Oh my God, I love how every villain in these movies has to maniacally laugh. <laughs> or creep like a, like a clown. There's a lot of clown comedy in this world. He's gonna have to land the plane. Oh, goody, and there's mountains too. <laughs> Oh, that's the worst noise to hear when you're high up in the mountains. How is he gonna land? Oh, no way. Are you kidding me? They're gonna use a boat? They're gonna use a life raft? You serious? I love how none of them are falling, even though they're crashing. They're, they're not falling. They're all able to hold on tight. <laughs> oh, they'd, oh, they'd be so dead. <laughs> They'd be so dead. They'd be so dead. Or at the very least, they'd have broken tailbones. <laughs> oh, look at that editing. Oh, wow. Oh, and this editing too. Now they're high speed sledding. <laughs> no <f> way. <laughs> this is cartoonish, man. That is so ridiculous. They're not supposed to survive this. <laughs> now they're going to have to fight off going over a waterfall, right? Is that the next thing that they have to do? That would be the logical next step. You okay? Oh, here we go. We're in the jungle now. And there's people. Oh my God, are they just following him silently? I don't remember any of this. Where are they now? This village looks like all the wildlife around it has been burned or something. You guys, they don't have anything. The only thing they have is that dress that she's clinging to. What are they doing to them? Praying? What are they doing? Do they think that they're cursed or something? What is this? I can't eat this. Honey, that's all they have. They gave you food. It's so nice. Okay? I don't care if you don't like it. Oh, a bug landed on it. <laughs> that's kind of, that's movie magic. You will stop at Bangkok. Oh boy, they're giving him a totally different mission. The you will start in Bangkok. What evil? Bad news. Yeah, this kid is smart. Listen to him. They came from palace and took Sivalinga. Took what? Stone, a sacred stone. Man, he knows everything. <laughs> Here we go again with the laughter. So much laughter in this movie. We prayed to Shiva to help us. Yeah, you were, you guys were the chosen ones, okay? You were brought, that's why they were so excited to see him. Oh, this, Indy, poor Indy. He never gets any help. He didn't get that diamond for the last job and now he's got to do this job for free. He says they stole their children. Oh God, he stole their children. Jeez, that's why all the women are upset. Oh God. Wait, this kid find his way back? This kid found his way back. What happened? Oh my God. And Indy just happened to be standing there, ready to catch him. Sankara, Sankara. 
Oh, the map. Is that a map? This kid escapes. Are we ever gonna explain that? Oh no, it's not a map, it's a picture. Shankara. Oh, he's intrigued now. Now he's been sold. What is Shankara? Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and- Yeah, I knew he was gonna repeat that. Whenever you say like a line, kid, you're gonna repeat the thing you said before kid again. Maybe I've just, cause I've seen this movie, I realize it. She's in heels. Oh my God, she's useless. Take your heels off. What are you doing? You're hurting the elephant. Oh, she's facing the wrong way, wow. I get that they added her for comedic reasons, but I don't remember her being this annoying the first time I watched the movie. <laughs> okay, good, she's facing the right way finally. Oh my God, no, is she gonna pull out perfume? No, don't put that on the, no, no. Quit complaining, this is expensive stuff. <laughs> oh, they got the elephant to react at least, that's cute. Oh my God. Ooh, what big bird! Those are bats. They're giant vampire bats. Vampire bats, oh my God, that's so cool. Vampire bats always fascinated me as a kid. This doesn't hurt. <gasps> Stop putting perfume on him, it's alcohol based. <laughs> Good, you deserve that. Yep, there we go. Good. I can't believe you're putting perfume on him. Rude. <laughs> Well, you better get used to it, honey, because that's where you are. I think we'll camp here tonight. Uh, Andy's like, she can't go any farther. <laughs> you know what I bet's gonna happen? She's gonna hang her clothes to dry and bugs are gonna crawl all over him and she's gonna put it on and there's gonna be bugs in her clothes or something. I'd be scared of like a jaguar in these. Oh, she really is a drama queen. And that's coming from a drama queen. It's a monkey, calm down. Oh my God. I scream for, for bugs, okay? For spiders and bugs. You guys know this from the last movie. That's the kind of stuff I scream for. Okay, this is hysterical. I like how she's screaming and all the wildlife's just finding her. Oh my God. Oh, that's a big deal. That was a jaguar. That's not a joke. See, look, the let, let the elephant coddle you. He feels bad. He feels bad you're having a sad time. I'd be safer sleeping with a snake. Wow. Cut it out! Oh, she thought it was the elephant and it was a snake. Yeah, it's really funny. Oh, there's the palace. Oh my God. So I thought vampire bats were still operated at night. So vampire bats are a daytime thing. They're not nocturnal. Oh, geez. Oh, gross. What's this? Yeah, that looks spooky. Uh, that's a dead bird. Okay. What are those red things? Is that blood? What is that? The bats are fleeing. That's a bad sign. Oh, they're all running away. They're all running away. Oh, no, the bats are going in the direction they need to go, I think. Jeez. That's horrifying. Vampire bats. Love this place. It's not something I would look for in a property, in a place to settle down. I should say you look rather lost. Whoa, who's this guy? I'm Chatur Lao, Prime Minister to His Highness the Maharaja Pankot. I'm enchanted. Thank you very much. Flattery will get you everywhere with her. I'm just wondering why those guys ran away. Like, what's going on in this place that's so dark and evil? And how come this guy's in like a suit? This is Captain Bloombert. Wait, does he borrow this suit? He didn't have this with him the whole time, right? He only had like a little, he had like nothing with him. Is this the same guy from The Shining? He reminds me a lot of that guy in The Shining that speaks to Jack Nicholson's character. I think the Maharaja is swimming in loot. Oh, now she likes it. Mm-hmm. What do they call the Maharaja's wife? His Highness has not yet taken a wife. How interesting. Are you trying to marry him? You want to stay here? She is so vain. Oh my God. <gasps> Oh, this is totally the part where they're gonna eat some sketchy stuff, I think. Here we go. Drum roll, please. Oh, it's a child? <laughs> what? She's not gonna be interested anymore if he's a kid. Oh God, here they go, serving the scary food. Sneak surprise. What's the surprise? It's what's in the snake, huh? Are you serious? How did they even accomplish that with, with props? I can't, 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 I can't. I didn't even, I wasn't even referring to this thing that they ate. I was referring to something else. This is, I forgot about this. This is horrible. And he doesn't even like snakes. Village stories, Dr. Joan. Mm, I'm sure. Just village stories. And the fact that all their children were stolen? What about that? Oh, and now they're gonna eat beetles. Mm-hmm. This is, this seems a little weird. Like, I don't, like now what? We're in the Lion King? You know, the villagers also told us Pankot Palace had taken something. Dr. Jones, it's not usual for a guest to insult his host. I thought we were talking about folklore. Uh-huh, yeah, which is it? Do you have anything simple 
like soup? No, they're gonna bring the wrong kind of soup, honey. You don't wanna ask for anything here. You should just say you're a vegetarian. That's what you should say. You should be like, um, do you have anything that's plant-based? Not that they'll bring it to you, but oh God, she's not gonna like this. I remember this, I remember this, I remember this, I remember this, I remember this. Oh yeah. <laughs> they're not wasteful. Using every part of the animal, you know? I have heard the evil stories of the thuggy cult. The child is speaking. This will never happen again in my kingdom. Oh, oh boy. Some tension. And the dessert is even worse. Yep, monkey brains. Yep, this is the part that I did not forget. It just looks like jello in reality, but no vegetables, I guess. <laughs> what about fiber and vitamins? Wear your jewels to bed, princess. And nothing else. Why are they flirting? Like, I don't know. This is just weird. I mean, I'm just not feeling it. Like, I just don't care about this. I mean, like, Harrison Ford is very sexy, but I just, I didn't need this at all. You'll be back over here in five minutes. I mean, you put me in the jungle with one person who's really attractive, but I hate their personality. I don't care. I am not doing it. She looked right into the lens of that camera, it seems. I feel like she looked right at us for that line. <laughs> at least the kid's asleep and not listening to this. <gasps> oh God. Oh no, Indy, Indy! Ah! Oh God, girl, can you go over there and help him? I don't know what use you'd be, but still. Indiana Jones! Yeah, go in there, go in there. Just, oh my God, stop being such a drama queen. Just go help him. Oh my God. I could have been your greatest adventure uh you know you, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have been but still just can you help him oh <gasps> look at this kid he's the best oh and this kid just has to watch him kill a man which is kind of bad oh kid don't look away look away kid look away look away look away oh god oh, honey it's not about you anymore be gentle with me no it's some be gentle with me <laughs> She's so confused. There's a breeze. Oh, that's unusual for the inside. Is that a secret passageway behind the boobs? <laughs> I like how they put her in that room because they knew she'd never figure it out. Go get our stuff. You're not gonna tell her that you just had somebody try to assassinate you? I step on something. Oh, oh, the floor is moving, right? Is the floor moving? Is the, f is the floor moving? It's bugs, isn't it? It's bugs, isn't it? No, don't look, don't look, don't do it, don't do it. I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. I don't need to see. No! No! Ah! Oh, I hate the, ah, centipedes! I hate, ah! Oh, it's so gross. I hate creepy crawlies. Ah! Oh, you know what I remember? From this movie, I remember her walking through the cave, so she's gotta come down and walk through the cave. Oh no. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh no, they're stuck in there. There are dead bones here. Dead bones. There are dead bones here. <laughs> People died here is really what I meant to say. Stand up against the wall, will you? No, that's probably a bad idea too. Don't stand up against the wall. He's leaning against something else. Is the wall gonna start closing in on them? Oh my God, this is the second movie I've seen Harrison Ford in where he's at risk of getting smooshed by the walls. Willie! Yeah, Willie. You gotta go through the bug cave, Willie. It's, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Oh God. Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. Girl, don't look down. I hate centipedes so much. Ah, shut up, Willie. Yeah, shut up, Willie. I mean, like, I hate bugs too, but like, if people, ah, I hate, I hate that they're all over her. But it's worse that they're about to get impaled and smushed. Push it, push it, push it. There's gonna be bugs in there. Do it, just do it, just do it. Uh, honestly, this has been going on way too long. Ah, I hate this. Oh my God, they're going up into her hair. Jesus Christ. Oh, they must have put bugs on the, on her uh, stand-in because that was just the back of her hair that we saw most of the bugs in. <laughs> go, go, run under the pillar. Go, go, go. Get your hat, get your hat, get your hat. <laughs> we had to have one of those moments because we had that in the first movie. So we'll probably get it in the third movie too. Oh God, I'm glad that bug scene is over. <laughs> Oh wow, things escalated really quickly because I remember this scene and I thought it was like at the end of the movie. So this movie is flying by pretty quickly. It's a thuggy ceremony. Oh, there they go. 
Nobody's seen this for a hundred years. Well, everyone except all the people here. Yeah, this is pretty intense. And they have a, a sacrificial pit! Lovely. Oh, oh, there's the kid. Oh no. Oh no, this guy's gonna die. Is this a pit of lava? What's down there? Cause it's red. I'm getting some like real be prepared vibes. I, I I know I keep mentioning the Lion King, but honestly, this feels like Scar and be prepared like with the red. Well, actually I think be prepared was mostly green. Whatever, I don't know. Oh wow, he's got the crazy eyes for sure. Is he about to rip out his heart? Why do I hear the heart beating? Oh no. Oh no, this movie is so gross. This, it's still beating! He ripped out his still beating heart. His heart, his body just closed itself up. His body just closed itself up and he's still alive. Not for long, they're about to fry him. Oh, she's not good. She's having a mental breakdown. I would be too, honestly, can't blame her at this point. Oh yeah, that's a spinny pool of lava. What a fun way to go. Why did you take his heart first? No, oh, now this looks like Mordor. I take it back. It's not be prepared, it's Mordor. His heart is on fire. What the f Oh my god. Yeah, this movie utilizes a lot more like magic and mystical stuff than the last one did. I mean, the last one there was like magic from like a biblical standpoint. I mean, I don't really know if the, is the Tuggy religion a religion that actually existed or is this all made up? I mean, I know the magical stuff is made up. You can't pull somebody's heart out of their chest and they still be alive. Down there! Are you crazy? Oh my god, the hamminess. It's so much. How is there nobody guarding this thing? I feel like this this can't go smoothly. Why did it start moving with the scream? What happened? Why are people screaming? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no, they stole him because they're they're all about stealing kids. Oh no. What is it with these guys and the kids? Wow, you got a lot of work to do, Indy. This is horrible. Oh no, Indy, you're gonna make yourself known and what are you gonna do? Yeah, there's other people. Of course there are, Indy. You thought there was just one? Oh no, they're all right there. Oh, goody. Oh, and they put him in a cage. They will make me drink the blood of the Kali. We become like them. We'll be alive, but like a nightmare. That's why all the vampire bats were drawn to the, the palace. They were like, hey, our people, they're drinking blood. <laughs> Delicious. I like how this whole time he's had a Yankee cap on, like the entire time. This little kid from Shanghai with a Yankee cap. I love it. And it's still, they haven't taken it away from him yet. Oh no, are they gonna make him drink blood? I remember this. I, he had to wait for the direction from the kid to spit it out. He didn't know to do that himself. Oh, a voodoo doll! You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I love this little kid. Oh, it's that kid. Oh, it's the king, right. That king is messed up. Yep, here we go with the child abuse. Child on child abuse. Whipping the kid, really? Then the Hebrew God will fall. Then the Hebrew God will fall. Oh, okay. And then the Christian God will be cast down. Well, the Hebrew God and the Christian God are the same. Uh, there's just Jesus. So if you mean Jesus, okay. You're gonna do that by making everyone drink blood. That's gonna take a lot of time and resources, dude. I mean, I guess it's it's doable, but that's gonna take so much blood. And honestly, we have a hard enough time getting people to donate blood as it is in this country. So I don't know if that would work in the United States. Nobody even wants to leave their house here, okay? I remember this mad stuff working on him and I was like this is messed up I think this movie just stands out to me because it's so weird so I couldn't forget it yep here it goes what a scene to have to act out turning from fighting the evil to becoming evil and oh here we go with the maniacal laughter again oh he did it understated I appreciate that Harrison Ford he's not super hammy even though he acts in some hammy movies Kalima protects us oh boy you drank that kool-aid real quick with an offering of flesh <laughs> Oh, her? <laughs> right. <laughs> I appreciate the wardrobe deciding to make him shirtless for this scene. <laughs> Thank you, wardrobe. <laughs> I remember this. I remember Indy acting all weird and being under mind control. And I don't like it, okay? Oh God, he's so vacant. Look at those eyes. Okay, okay, little kid. What is he gonna do? Somebody's gotta hit him on the head. They just, he's just, they just gotta give him one good hit on the head and he'll, he'll snap out of it, I bet. Oh, she spit on him. That's not enough. He needed a real hit on the head, I think. Oh my God. Oh my God, run. Run, kid, run. Oh, hurry up. He's coming after you. Oh, he took the ladder with him. Wow, what a brave little kid. He saw that rope and he went for it. Wow. How nice of them to put her face down. Like he couldn't put her face up so she doesn't have to stare at it. I guess it's good they didn't take her heart out. 
Oh my god, her screaming wasn't even lining up with her lip syncing there. No! Oh, look, he's crying. Instant tears! He was already crying. Yes! Hit him! Burn him! Do whatever you gotta do! Yeah, burn them all! Burn them all, kid! Indy, I love you! Oh! Wow, okay, so that's what he had to do. He had to burn him. He's mine! Oh, he put on the axe real quick. He knew it. He knew real quick. Oh, and the little kid's kicking everybody. Like, that would make a difference. That's so cute. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Mortar! Mortar is getting her! Quick! Oh, at this point, she'd be getting third degree burns. Second degree burns? She'd be getting some kind of burns. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that part. I was like, what the hell? He just had a trap door ready to go. No. Oh, it's this stupid professor, dude. Oh my God. Why do you care so much about whether or not this girl is sacrificed? What's wrong with you? Oh, you're going to get crushed by the wheel, huh? Pull the lever, crunk! It really looks like all those extras in the background are cheering, but I thought they were all under cult magic still. So maybe they're angry. I can't tell. Oh, his hat came back. Oh, he, he just happened to have his hat? How did he have his hat? Oh, it's time to get this guy. Time to kill this dude. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, he's really strong. <laughs> oh, and this guy's evil and he's gonna use the voodoo doll. Oh, goody. This little maniacal, psychotic boy. Oh, now we're on a conveyor belt. That's good, yep. Oh, God, this is horrible. This kid is psychotic. Oh, no, it's still in his back. Oh, no. Yes, little kid, good job. Oh, a saw? There's a saw there? That's good. Could've sworn he was a lot closer to that pulverizer, but that's that's good that he's not. Oh, boy. Oh, you know, I, I feel bad rooting for this little kid to be violent towards this other little kid, but that other little kid was an actual psycho. <laughs> it's over for you, dude. It's over. It's over. Uh... Are you gonna use the random torch that happened to be there? So I guess the kid was under the spell too. You would think that this, this kid has been acting with some real conviction. You'd think that the kid was just evil. Short round! Again, love what Wardrobe did, taking away his sleeve so that we could see his arms. You must take the left tunnel. And sorry about all of my murderous psychotic behavior before. <laughs> He's trying, okay? He's swinging on a trapeze. And somehow it's still going. <laughs> There's so much cartoonish action in this. No, he this oh no. You guys took the wrong tunnel. Oh no. You gotta listen to Shorty. Shorty's been right this entire time. This is the ride right here. Yeah. Oh, they totally made this movie with the intention of making it a ride. <laughs> why do you why do you need them to knock over that thing? The water bin. Oh, to flood it all? Oh god. You know how earlier when they were in the river, I was like, oh, they're probably gonna go down a waterfall now. If he floods this tunnel with water, it's gonna become a waterfall situation, I bet. Oh boy, here we go, stop it. Break, break, oh, it's too late. Okay, all right, that's fine. Did we just land magically on the other tracks? Wow, that's lucky. Good job, guys. Here we go, time to flood the tunnel, all right. Wow, he really has the crazy eyes. <laughs> Does he ever snap out of it or is he is he just built different? Don't even worry about stopping, guys, because you're not going to be able to. You're just going to burn the bottoms of your shoes. <laughs> oh, wow. Good job, dude. Except there's water coming now, so. Water! Don't worry, there's water coming. Water. Be careful what you wish for. Where are you guys going to go? Oh, okay, there. All right. I like how they were able to escape through a hole and the water didn't come through that hole. It just went around the bend. Here we go. Waterfall time. Yes, here we go. Oh, they're going to avoid it like that? Wow, good job, guys. Oh, we really had to put her in a in a crop top, really? Oh, not one of these bridges. Maybe take a second. Yeah, take a second. Kids, stop jumping. Shorty, stop. <laughs> oh, and now... <laughs> And we just immediately have a close-up on a bunch of crocodiles waiting. Oh my god. <laughs> Are there a lot of them coming? Yep. Yeah. Ah I remember that because that's iconic. Oh no. Be careful. He's totally gonna break the bridge, isn't he? Oh, you're in the worst spot ever, dude. You can't fight on this bridge. Oh. Oh. Oh, I forgot he had the stones. Drop them, Dr. Jones! Uh, everybody calls his bluff, man. Oh, no. No, no, no. Don't make them go. Oh, God. Wow, he really speaks every language. Prepare to meet Kali in hell. I would face the other way if I were you guys. Oh, and you're gonna bang against that cliff on the bridge, too. Ow. Oh, gross. And now you gotta fight people vertically. Like, how's that gonna go? Seems worse. Is he about to kill his other guy to try to knock him out? Oh, my God. He's, he's savage. He is savage, savage. And he's just smiling, even though it didn't work. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Are you kidding me? They had bow and arrows the whole time when they only just waited for his command to start using them. Oh, oh, he's speaking a Hindu, Hindu prayer. Oh my God. Why does he just know how to make stuff light on fire? Oh, there go the stones. Oh, he got the one stone, really? Oh, oh wow, the special effects. Oh my God, the editing. <laughs> Oh god, guys, stop shooting at me. Your guy's dead already. Like, really? He's dead already. Oh, finally, the British army. That's good. At least he wasn't under the spell. He's fine. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> the one hand coming up over the edge. <laughs> okay, hurry up. Get him over the edge. Oh, wow. The village is already doing so much better, even though the stone hasn't gotten back yet. We know you are coming back when life fit into our village. Oh. Wow, okay, I'm back to this being like Lion King again. As soon as Simba took Pride Rock, life came back to the area. Oh. That's the elephant, isn't it? See, I like this elephant the most. Cause we don't, we don't, we don't need this, okay? I don't care about her. Oh, they are gonna kiss, okay. Oh, and the kids are gonna swarm them. <laughs> oh my God, PDA. It's so funny re-watching these movies with you guys and seeing what I remember, what I don't. This one definitely was a lot more familiar to me. I think I must have just watched it more than the other two for some reason. Either that or it just stood out to me because there were so many gross uh, things in this movie, so many gross moments and really visceral moments that must have just stood out to me as a kid. I might have also liked the fact that there was a literal kid as a lead in this movie. I think I remember loving Shorty so much when I watched these movies as a child, so maybe that's why this movie stood out to me more. As an adult, it's definitely a lot more cheesy than the last one, definitely a lot more hammy, uh, a lot more annoying characters, mainly with Willie. She's in really annoying, honestly, but it was kind of funny because she definitely added to the comedy as the movie went on, so I appreciated having her there later on. It's really cool to watch movies and revisit them later as an adult because I probably would have called this one my favorite, not rewatching them at all. But now that I've rewatched Raiders of the Lost Ark and I've refreshed my memory with what both of these movies are like, I definitely don't like this one as much as Raiders of the Lost Ark. So it's just how things change over time as you become an adult and as you revisit things from your past. Still love this movie though. It definitely will hold a special place in my heart forever just because I do remember it so much as a kid. Still love the character Shorty. I think he's adorable and he definitely brings me a lot of joy. So I liked rewatching that kid's performance again. I want to check something real quick. I feel like that guy, the British guy, I feel like I recognized him. Oh, I guess George Lucas played a missionary in this movie. That's funny. Philip Stone. He was in The Shining. Oh my God, I so rarely have those moments where I recognize actors from specific performances. I'm one of those people that if you tell me what, what someone is in and I've seen it, I'll remember the performance and I'll remember how they made me feel, but I rarely piece together people just based off of their faces. That rarely happens for me. I'm just not that good at calling people out in the moment, but I called him out in this movie. I got it right. I'm so proud of myself on that. And I've only seen The Shining like twice, but his performance in The Shining was so unbelievably intense and creepy and moving that I remembered his face when I saw it in this movie. So that was cool. This was really fun. I'm really happy I got to revisit this one with you guys here on this channel. I'm really excited to watch The Last Crusade next because I think I'm less familiar with that one as well. So there should definitely be some surprises in that one, some fun reactions because I don't really remember a lot of what happened in it. I do think I remember the ending. When it comes to a lot of these Indiana Jones movies, I tend to remember the endings because those tend to be really memorable, but I don't really remember anything about what happens during or throughout the rest of the movie. So it should be fun to revisit that with you guys. Definitely makes me feel like a kid again to watch these movies. And I don't have a lot of series or trilogies or movies that I can do that with. I, I definitely watched some stuff as a kid, but you guys know I didn't watch that much. So this is one of those few series that I can go back to. And even though I don't remember everything that happened in all of these movies, it still hits me in the heart, warms my heart, makes me happy. And I've really been enjoying watching these with you guys. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.